What the fuck is up, fam? I'm sorry. That that really wasn't me. I don't know where that came from. We're gonna try this whole thing again. What's up, everybody? It's Mickey again. Today, we're gonna go back to one of my first loves. Today, we're gonna make twice baked potatoes, y'all. This is just gonna be really good. Um, you just don't really even know what you're in for. Just like always, you can tinker with these measurements depending on how much of this meal you're gonna wanna make. Today, we're just gonna be focusing on making two servings of this whole thing. So it's just gonna be two taters. Just like always, you can tinker with these measurements depending on how much of this meal you're gonna wanna make. And so here's what you're gonna need. You need a couple large russet potatoes. This time they actually have to be russet potatoes because those are the best kind for bacon. And I don't mean bacon like the good kind of bacon. Like this is the kind of bacon I'm talking about where you put it in the oven and you let it sit for a while. Half a cup of cheese. This is gonna be sprinkled on top. Some of it's gonna be thrown into the mixture. You'll see what I'm talking about. Half a cup of sour cream. There must be some other characteristic to it other than just being sour. Uh, no. Nope, it's just sour. Quarter cup of milk. Green onions. This you're only gonna need about one to two of them per potatoes, but I got three this time. You're gonna need a little bit of oil for baking them potatoes. You're gonna need some salt for that too. Gonna help make the skin real crispy. You're also gonna need some butter. Usually about two tablespoons per tater. Because of course you do. How are you gonna cook potatoes without butter? Bacon. You're always gonna need bacon. I'm gonna use about three for two potatoes. First thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. That way it's nice and hot after you get all your prep work done. You can just throw the taters right in and then get on to your rest of your prep work. Then you wanna wash your taters off nice and good, get all the dust and everything off of them. Then you're gonna poke them with holes every now and then. Cover them with some oil and sprinkle them with some salt. Then go ahead and just throw them right on that center rack there in the oven. You wanna bake them for about an hour, turning them about every 20 minutes. Once you got your taters going in the oven, you can go ahead and start cooking up that bacon. You want to cook it for a few minutes on each side so it can get nice and crispy and brown. Then drain that off and go ahead and put it in the bowl, crumble it up real good. During this time, you're also going to want to get all your vegetable chopping and all that done. Just your scallions. You got a whole hour for potatoes to bake. Even time for a drink! Once the taters are done in the oven, go ahead and just set them aside for about 10 minutes. Number one, so you don't burn the shit out of your hands. But number two, you want to let that skin harden up just a little bit. You don't want it to be too hot because it's going to be real fragile. Once the taters are cooled down a bit, go ahead and slice them in half. Then grab yourself a spoon and scoop out the flesh of the taters into a bowl. Don't scoop down too deep. You want to leave a little layer of the flesh down there and not poke through the skin. Be sure to save those tater skins. You don't need to throw those away. After you got all that flesh put into the bowl, go ahead and add in about half of the bacon, about half of the cheese, all the sour cream, about half of the scallions. Then just start pouring that milk in there and mix it all up real good so you get a nice mashed potato type consistency. Once you got a good consistency with the mixture, go ahead and start scooping it back into those tater skins. Go ahead and top it off with a little bit of cheese, of course, some bacon, and some scallions if you want some more in there. I recommend doing this like on a nice baking sheet or something, because these ones you don't want to put directly on the rack. Then go ahead and throw them back in that oven. Make sure you didn't turn that shit off. And bake them again for about another 15 minutes. And there you go. Now you got some good shit that you're gonna eat on. As for the rest of this bit, I ain't explaining shit today because that was a really in-depth recipe. So if you wanna do some news, go look at some newsy things. Anyway, I'm gonna get to eating the shit out of these motherfuckers because, well, I just got bacon and cheese wafting up my nose right now. If you like this recipe and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to later hear me rant about just some crazy bullshit, whether it's going to be some news or just some stupid shit that's happening in the world, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you really want to show this little drunk ass some love, go ahead and share this thing about 
all the social media things that you can share it on. I done got too drunk, too lost to realize what the hell they all are. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Mickey again, and it's time to eat the shit out of this. Hi, little one. Let's enjoy. You know, you go off. Where you coming back? What you doing? You don't know? <laughs> okay, bye.